All right, let's update here. We're getting these head bolts out. We got three out so far. Okay, so here's the deal. You can't take all these out at the top. You can take, depending on your vehicle and how bad your motor mounts are, or how new they are, mine are new. So there's the engine sitting up stout. I can only remove these two. And one on the very And end. one on the very front on the inside of the block. The outside of the block, none of them can be removed. So, what we're going to have to do is, we can only get three head bolts out. Two in the back, one up there at the front. This is on the passenger side. So what we're going to have to do is take some of these fruity little hair ties. And, uh, well, we could have used rubber bands, I mean. We didn't have any on us at the time. Well, yeah. And we're going to try to see if we can't use these bolts to sort of help each other stay up. Yeah, just like that. Maybe I can get a third one up in here. Is there one here? I got three. Tight. Pulled together. Look at this one right here. This is a shitty way to do things, man. But you gotta do them. Hey, man. You don't have to take the whole engine out. Nightmare. Uh, actually. This is a nightmare in itself. Actually, don't say nothing else, because it would have been easier. Yeah, you're right. It might. Well, it probably would have. Look, all I would have to do is take the radiator grill and pull these tranny bolts out, okay? And a lot of other shit. But it still would have been worth it in the end. I just wanted to do this for the experience. Alright. Okay. Now, make it to where they can flex a little, because remember, we got to kind of come up a little bit. We got to position the ones in the front now. Alright. Let's cut film. Cut film. We'll retie the ones in the front. You can see what we did here, so you know what to do. General purposes to get it all up like if, that. If you decide to do this shit. And if you do, remember, put your new bolts in just like this before you put your head back on. Yeah.